Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing with you this look right here. It is the infamous wet look. So if you'd like to know how I achieved it, then keep watching. So this hair is from lwigs.com and it is their loose curly in, in a 360 full wig, honey. As you can see, the curls are pretty tight when they first come, so that means it holds a nice base for our wet look. So this hair does come pre-plucked in the hairline, which is great, because you know your girl loves to save some time. So I went ahead and bleached the knots. And a huge pointer when you're bleaching your knots, make sure your bleach is look so thick that look, <laughs> my brush ain't coming out right now. I mean, I can still move the brush very easily, but it will not fall out. That's how thick you want it to be. It'll be much easier for you to control. So after I washed her out, this is what the curls waves were looking like. So you, cause you can see they dropped a little bit, but there's still quite a bit and this is while it's wet. So this is the perfect type of curl that you need for a nice wet look. So as I mentioned before, um, the hairline is pre-plucked, but I have a really small forehead and I just needed to go in and kind of customize it for my forehead just a little bit. So a pointer when you're tweezing is to keep the hair nice and wet and use a good quality pair of tweezers. Tweezing takes a bit of time. There's no exact perfect formula. You kind of have to just develop your eye for it and keep trying, girl, keep trying. So I basically separated that area that kind of has the baby hairs. That's the part of the unit that is the most pre-plucked. It's the lowest density. So I kind of separated that part and plucked behind that row just so I could get it looking a little thinner, a little further back. Then when that part is to my liking, I comb everything back and I start to kind of mold what, what's gonna be like my baby hair. So I comb some of those shorter hairs that have already been created down forward. I don't like too much. Again, I explained like my forehead is not big enough and it just, it just looks really unnatural if I have way too much baby hair. So I just comb a bit down and then I use my little razor comb, cut those pieces shorter and kind of mold it before I let it air dry and put it on my head. And in the description box, I will have a link to a video that explains exactly how I gel down my frontals. So this is what the hair looks like after it's been air dried and kind of fluffed and played around with my hands. So let's get into how we get this wet look even when it's dry. First up, get your hands on a spray bottle and we're not gonna drench the hair. We don't want it to be like dripping wet. So I'm kind of spraying from the top downwards and you just want it to be basically damp, not to the point where you're just like wetting up your clothes and wetting up your life, you know what I mean? Then I'm taking my Demon brush and I'm just detangling the whole thing and that's also helping to get some of the moisture all the way down to the ends and help to evenly spread out the water. So as you can see from the ends, the hair is not dripping. It's just nice and damp. Now we're gonna take some oil. Now I'm using the Curls Grow Oil and I'm gonna lather this bad boy on. This is the only time I put product in my weave, like to this degree, y'all. I'm usually like, hell no to the oils. But for this look, you need the oil to go in there and help coat the hair before we put on the next item and to make sure that even when it's dry, it still has a nice wet look. So we bring it out the Eco Styler Gel MVP. <laughs> and we're gonna put that on top of the oil. Now the oil goes on, it's gonna make sure that the Eco Styler Gel is not gonna flake or anything, honey. You're just gonna have a lovely, delicious, wet look. So after we've applied all that on, I go and I crunch it up with my hands. You can even go and take your diffuser at this time and dry it if you like. Okay, don't look at my sweatpants at the bottom of my outfit. You're not supposed to see that. But yes, there you go. Scrunch it up. You can even go in and twirl some of the individual strands around your finger, just get a little more definition and kind of mold it and shape it how you like, honey. And there you have it, your finished look, darling. Every woman think you're fresh out of a pool or something, but your hair will be dry. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that is all for today thanks for hanging out with your girl don't forget to hit subscribe i love you and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. namaste whisper that she don't drink to set the sheet rolling hope i don't think that just that we smoke that i'm gonna hit i'm like what you think so think what you want she had me a thing